Now at six tonight, a Catholic church in South Buffalo is taking action, erasing the legacy of a former pastor who was accused of child sex abuse. We need to warn you here that some of the details in this story are disturbing. Here's our I-Team chief investigator, Charlie Specht. Monsignor William Stanton spent more than two decades as pastor of St. Ambrose Church in South Buffalo. He died in 2004, but the church's stained glass windows and this bronze memorial plaque inside stand as symbols of Stanton's legacy of being open to change in the Catholic Church. But now a new sort of change is taking place as the parish comes to grips with allegations that Father Stanton was a child abuser and two memorials to him inside the church will soon be taken down. At that meeting, the parish council uh, decided unanimously that the plaque should come down, and, and that was very uh, fulfilling to me. Kevin Brunn is a member of the Buffalo Survivors Group and first approached leaders at the renamed Our Lady of Charity Parish. The courage that they showed to, to look to their conscience and their moral fiber and, and come to a decision that's right and just, and. I, I'm hoping that uh, other parishes in western New York who have similar uh, memorials uh, will follow suit. Stanton was vice principal at the now closed Bishop Turner High School in the 1960s. One man came forward in 1993 and Stanton denied the allegations. Another in 2008 after he died. And after the sex scandal broke under Bishop Richard Malone, two more men filed lawsuits in state court, alleging abuse when they were 14 and 15 years old. Stanton is also accused of abusing an eight-year-old girl at St. Bridget's Church in Newfane. And before that, he's accused of fondling himself in front of a 12-year-old altar boy and later physically abusing him at Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic School in Niagara Falls. The Diocese of Buffalo included Stanton on a list of priests with, quote, substantiated allegations of child sexual abuse. The destruction that they caused, uh, the innocence that they took away from so many children, and the self-esteem and dignity that they took away from adults, uh, th that can never be restored. But attorney Paul Barr cautions that the Diocese of Buffalo has to do more than take down plaques before any sort of trust is restored. I hope that the diocese doesn't try to make it appear as though they're, they're, they're doing everything that survivors want done. Because there's a lot more work that needs to be done. Malone resigned 18 months ago, yet none of his successors have agreed to release the files on abusive priests or reinstate Father Richard Biernot, the whistleblower who helped expose the cover-up. There's so much more that uh, needs to be uh, done, Charlie. We've been uh, in this bankruptcy process for uh, almost two years now, and uh, we've moved forward very little. Uh, this has been a struggle from day one. Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News, I-Team.